Struggling to come up with the perfect text for your designs? Whether it's thumbnails, banners, logos, it's usually the hardest part. But what if I told you you could create unlimited ideas instantly? and make your design process 10 times faster. Let me show you how. So in this video, I'm going to be using Photopea and ChatGPT, and I'm gonna show you guys how you can create text for your designs that looks super good and will save you a ton of time. I even used it to make this text right here, and it looks amazing. I also used it to make this text right here. It's to my elemental pack, which you guys should check out. It's on my website. I have tons of free graphics packs on here. So if you're interested, go ahead and check it out. So the first thing we're going to do is just get a new project going. So let's go ahead and create one. It doesn't really matter what size because this is just an example. And you want to get ChatGPT open right here. So you're going to want to be pretty specific on what you want. So for example, if I want to make 3D fire text, I mean, it's not super specific, but you could type in generate me 3D bold, thick, font, fire text that says uh, text. Go ahead and click enter and it will start generating. This part takes quite a bit of time. And I think if you are a free user, you can only generate like a certain amount of images a day, but that's not a big deal if it gets it right the first time, because then you can just upload a video a day or whatever and use the one picture a day limit and it'll be just fine. But I don't know what the limit is. Maybe it's more than that. Okay, so you can see it generated our text here. And I also forgot something really important. So you'll see that the text is like angled and also it's on a background. I forgot to say to make it on a blank PNG transparent background. So I'll say PNG transparent background text facing straight and we'll see if this works. So you can see it generated this, which is not what we want. So let's go ahead and tell it to clean it up. OK, as you can see, it didn't exactly do what we want, which is going to happen occasionally. Sometimes you'll get it first try. Sometimes you won't. So let's go ahead and retry this with some different kind of text. So I'll just say the same thing as before. But instead of fire text, we'll say like ice style. So you can see here, this is actually a pretty good result. Um, it's it generated some ice looking text and now we can go ahead and download it by clicking download. Now, if we go back to our photo P project, we can find our text on our computer and drag it in. Click that check mark. Now you have some 3D text. Now there's some things you could do to warp it depending on what you want. So if you hit control alt and T, you can right click on it and go to perspective and just do different things to it, you know, like angle it maybe to the this way or something, just depending on what you want. I don't know. There's a lot you could do with the text, so it's okay if it's just facing forward and not angled. You don't have to tell ChatGPT to like angle it if you want it like that. You can do it all within Photopea and you can do a lot more to it as well. So I'm going to show you an example of that. So I put a background behind the text. I'm going to go ahead and blur the background just so the text stands out a little bit more like so. I'm going to create a new layer down here. Go to my brush tool. Make sure this top box right here is white and adjust the size of it by holding alt and right click and make it pretty soft. Also about this big. Then change this blend mode as well to overlay and kind of just click. It's kind of bright. Don't worry. Now turn the opacity down like so. So that's example one of ice text and let's go ahead and try a different kind. So we'll do generate me 3D bold, thick font, YouTube style text, YouTube viral style text that says text, PNG background text facing straight. So you can see this is what it generated. I'm not a big fan of that, to be honest. So let's go ahead and get rid of YouTube because I think it took YouTube and put it behind it. And that's not what we want. That's not what we're going for. So we might get rid of viral as well, but we'll leave it for now. Uh, 3D text. Like I said, you have to be pretty specific because it takes it literally. Because I put YouTube, it put the YouTube logo behind it and that was bad. That was a bad idea. So let's see if this works. It's trial and error, guys. It's not going to work every time. But if you dial in your prompts, I think you can make something pretty cool. So it gave me some 3D text, as you can see here. It looks pretty cool, but it's pretty basic. I did. I mean, to be honest, I didn't ask for anything complex. So that's on me. Now, I do have a, a theory and I want to test it. So I want to see if I drag in this text that I made here in the viral thumbnail pack and see if it can replicate that text. So generate me text that looks just like from this image and generate it on a 
PNG transparent background. Make the text say viral text. Now, this might not work, but let's go ahead and find out. So this is what it generated, and it's actually pretty spot on because to be honest, I did a lot to the text afterwards. Uh, it didn't just come out straight like this. So that's pretty impressive. Even though it's not perfect all the time, I still think this is a viable option for all of you guys to get some really cool 3D looking text in seconds. Cause like, yeah, you could make this pretty quick, but still, if you get more complex, you might be able to make something really cool.